All right, guys, so this video has actually been a long time coming. Um, shout out my boy Dan for requesting this one. And I'm going to actually be reformatting the Who Can Beat series. I'm chilling outside today. It's beautiful weather. Uh, shout out to Global Warming. But um, anyways, this is Who Can Beat with a little bit reformatting. Basically, what I'm going to do is review the character we're hunting. And instead of jumping them 3v1, I'm going to give you three options to hunt them down. And you let me know who you would pick out of the three I give as far as like who you trust the most to deliver the W. But anyways, guys, if you enjoy videos like this, if you want to see the Who Can Beat be a mainstay on my second channel, which is this, The Coffee Shop, uh, with my main channel being Jobbers and Goons, of course, smash the like button, 100 likes, and we'll do another Who Can Beat. Um, but anyways, getting back into it, I'm going to review what like a prime Arthur Curry Aquaman brings to the table, and then I'll give you my three I would send after uh, them. And without further ado, let's begin. So... Aquaman, what's he bring to the table? Aquaman, obviously, um, one of the most controversial characters in the scaling community for the Justice League roster because a lot of people shit on him. A lot of people simply don't believe he's that strong, which is not the case. Um, Curry, being one of the kings of the sea, um, is actually one of the god tier powerhouses on Earth. In fact, he's referred to as one of the few uh unstoppable forces on earth when they're truly locked in trying to get going he's been obviously like i said compared to superman in terms of strength especially underwater which we'll be going after him underwater if we have to with um his items such as his trident he's able to hurt multiversal to outerversal beings like dark side uh if he's able to stab them underwater he is damn near like a speedster in terms of how he's regarded in combat um he his probably most slept on aspect of what he brings to the table is his telepathy he's resisted telepathic attacks that have been able to drop other members of the justice league including martian manhunter who can casually mind hacks extra dimensional beings um a lot of this telepathic prowess for aquaman stems from his ancient um connection to wildlife and nature itself which kind of gives him like this weird uh connection to everything that's living basically he's also done very well against the likes of despero who is a team buster and he's even done well and turned to pulp white martians with just a couple being able to take out characters like flash and wonder woman overall arthur curry aka aquaman is one of the most slept on members of the justice league especially when he was in his prime um and his abilities both underwater get massively amped he has telepathy his trident uh, he can manipulate the ocean and the waters he's in um he can also use um the life underwater to his advantage for example he can attack you with sharks and stuff and uh sea monsters if you are underwater given his telepathic prowess with animals and overall curry is a well-balanced character who is extremely formidable especially when he's on his home turf but I've got a few characters I believe are worth sending after him, and I'm going to break them down for you. First of all, my top dog would probably be uh, Apocalypse. Apocalypse being the ancient mutant from Marvel Comics. Recently, especially in Extra Swords, Apocalypse got an upgrade, but he was already crazy. In terms of what he's capable of, um, the Phoenix views him as one of the toughest and most evil characters the Phoenix has ever fought against. Um... He casually scales to and above Professor X and telepathic prowess, with Professor X being able to fight across infinite planes of existence against Dark Phoenix in a telepathic battle. So Apocalypse brings the telepathic at least relativity to um, Aquaman, but in my opinion, he's above. Uh, he also has complete control over his molecular structure, completely altering his body. He's been able to go after Hulk, uh, fight off against an army of Thors, fight a Nimrod, that almost one-shot Wolverine who could take several hits from World War Hulk and remain conscious. Um, his manipulative abilities with his own body, his energy projection, his telepathic prowess, all of this, I believe, personally makes Apocalypse an ideal candidate to go after even a prime aquaman because uh, apocalypse like for example when he pulls up underwater he can change his body structure to be more advanced underwater to prosper underwater so that makes him incredibly dangerous um as a character so let me know if you'd pick him as your guy but we have two more to go through we have the next one which is 
Lobo from DC Comics. Lobo and Aquaman actually had a, a fight before um, near Lobo and Aquaman's prime. Lobo basically got the drop on him, but because they were both fans of dolphins and huge supporters of dolphins, Lobo decided not to off uh, Aquaman. Aquaman did really well, but overall, I do feel Lobo brings more to the table. His re uh, recent escapades in the comics uh, allowed him to completely solo the imaginary imps uh, realm, which they stated was imagination itself and beyond the concept of death. Yet he was able to pull up there and introduce it with weapons he created. As he said, murdering as a concept is like the greatest thing he's at. He's obviously one of the most uh, renowned mercenaries in the multiverse once he gets track of you he can track you wherever his chains uh, are also very formidable able to chain up superman and shazam and absolutely ragdoll them he's taken on the league before um he's also got incredible senses like i said he's noticed stuff before that the justice league couldn't on top of his physical stats lobo um can create clones based on um if he gets injured so if you actually do draw blood from him the blood will pop up as Lobo clone, so he can actually swarm you. Um, he also has incredible weaponry. Just garbage guns he created once blew up the planet, uh, blew up a planet. And overall, his regeneration, um, his telepathic resistance and such, uh, for example, resistance against something that took down the entire league. I believe it was a neural gen. Um, this allows Lobo to be incredibly formidable. He would pull up on Aquaman, uh, and with his prior knowledge on Aquaman, I believe he'd be able to take him down. Now, final... Uh, candidate for this who can beat is merge sentry merge sentry narratively is implied to be beyond regular sentry who pretty easily um was able to come back from a mind hack that uh canceled out characters like dr strange professor x all the mutants on the planet and stuff like that um on top of this he's able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe against the void um with the void being a threat to the entirety of the marvel multiverse uh, and Sentry, who should scale below Merge Sentry, was stated to help stalemate against Galactus. Um, and overall, because of Merge Sentry's um, ability with reality warping, for example, regular Sentry beat Molecule Man in molecular manipulation. His speed uh, being easily on par with characters like Thor and Silver Surfer in speed. Um, and overall, his just versatility as a combatant makes Merge Sentry a very good candidate to bring down Aquaman even on his home turf. So, if you guys had to pick between my three, who would be your character you would hire to take down Prime Aquaman? Let me know in the comment section down below. And if you have other characters you would like to hire to put against him, let me know in the comment section. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. We just crossed 1K on this channel, and I'm hoping to catch up to my main channel even quicker so that would be dope but anyways thank you guys for watching this has been the coffee shop and i hope you guys enjoyed peace